I'm Chris from Aspect Maintenance, a large electrical company based in the centre of London. Today we're going to have a look through some three-way switching, I'll show you some of the components that we're going to use. We're going to use a two-way switch, an intermediate switch, which looks like a normal switch, only it's got a different layout on the back. And we're going to use a two-gang two-way switch, which is basically just to get you familiar with the different switches. We're only going to use one of these sections today. With three-way switching, basically what we have is you have the, the feed coming in one end and the switch wire going out the other, similar to other lighting layouts that you may have seen before. So let's, let's refer to this as the, the live feed coming in, which will go there. We then have the switch wire that would leave by this point here, which would be noted as the C and the C, the common, that would go to the light. So that would be switching the light through the switches. And then we'd have in the middle, we'd use some strappers to go between L1 and L2 from the bottom of this. So L2 there, L2 there, L1 there, L1 there. Connect them up straight through. Maybe label these as you pull the cables in because it makes it easier as you go to connect. And the same for this one, we'd go L2 here and reverse it to the top of the switch, L2 on the top of the switch, L1 there and L1 on the top of the switch. You have to get this right or when you, you switch either of the light switches, it'll, it'll come up with a funny configuration and you won't get the switch that you're looking for. And that's the basic connection of a three-way lighting circuit. We've obviously used different cables. You'll be using Twin and Earth or something like that, something similar to a domestic cable. We've used these singles just to make it a bit simpler for yourself when you're connecting. And that's how you do three-way lighting within a domestic household.